Hello there! If you are here, I think we had the same problem. Exporting an animation from 3ds Max and importing that animation into Unity. For example, the umbrella you see here was not like that. It was just like staying right here. It, it didn't move. It, like the frames were going, but the umbrella didn't move. <laughs> it was hard times. I spent 3 to 4 hours uh, to uh, understand how I can uh, have my animations from 3ds Max to work in Unity. Here, everything works fine. Like, I can open umbrella, I can close the umbrella. But when I exported this and imported it into Unity, it did nothing until I found the bug Morpher modifier. So, it turns out Unity does not support vertex animations like you do with editable polys when you move all the vertices somewhere. And it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You need to use a morpher. And as far as I understand, a morpher just records the vertices coordinates and applies that in some in some modeling magic uh, also i need to point out that i am a, a 3ds max novice beginner i am a starter in 3ds max as a person as a game developer with not enough in-depth knowledge on 3ds max i was uh, having a hardship and i want to help you if you're also in my place and i already exposed to that like I came to a documentation, it, here it says Ensure that you have the Morpher modifier applied to export of mesh, blah 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 And appropriate more targets to channels I didn't know what was for modifier And also you need to check some things And you need to check other some things to export those modifier modifications If the documentation wasn't enough, I stumbled upon this tutorial you can go check this out. Uh, I will be doing similar things, maybe in a more novice way, more low level way. Uh, but yeah, and go check out this video. Uh, it tells us creating morphers and exporting those animations to Unity. Yeah. This, this works. Just go and see that. Maybe I will add how to this animation in Unity because I also learned this while I'm trying to animate my little umbrellas here so you know this one has a close animation close cycle and open cycle so in unity i need to divide it into two animations because when an umbrella closes down uh it closes more slower than how it opens like with an impact you know an umbrella opens with an impact so i need to show that in my project like you here let me show you uh, i just changed the values and by dividing the animation into two, I can change the speed of animation. Like in here, uh, closing down animation is slower than opening animation. Oh, the speed is so high, it just explodes. Like how an umbrella does. Oh. Okay, going back to our little experiment. Umbrella, uh, to, uh, to tell you, this quality with umbrella is very not possible for me at the moment. And I will just go with a cube, a very simple cube. You will animate a box. Uh, this box has length 2020 with three segments on its sides. Converting this to a editable poly. And I will just start animation. Pressing auto key and inserting an initial key here at the zeroth frame. I'm coming to 20 frame. I will create a spike uh, area. So I'm uh, choosing the corner points and create spikes with these corner points by moving them up. Maybe I can choose these. So you know, this is a spike. This is a very accept acceptable spike. It's just a little spiky. So this is spike up. And for spike down, I will just Go and select the initial key and with shift I will be duplicating it to here and this is our animation now. Uh, spikes go up, spike goes down and that's it. So I am mm, stopping animation recording with pressing the auto key again. And also right click on play animation. I will just reduce the frame count to my 
total count, which is 40. And this is my animation. Uh, with no morphers, we will check them in UT and see if it exports or not. I tried to export it that way, it didn't work. But we will see them together. Now I will need to name it Cube Spike. Now the export settings. I am setting the preset Autodesk Media and Entertainment. And from there, I will just uncheck camera and light export and check if animation is checked. And yes, it is checked. I am ready to export my model. Um, I did something wrong. I exported my model at the end state. Well, I think it's the right thing is to export the animations in, in the first frame. So I suggest you do the same. Again, I'm exporting it. I have already have my Unity uh, project in 3D setting. It was created with 3D settings. Mm, drag and drop in my spike and it came with the animation. But when I say play, nothing happens because we didn't use morphers and we did vertex animation. Now we need to go and fix this. Here is my cube. I will just duplicate it with shift and let's name it target of one minute. It's a copy, not an instance. I will uh, put it as state to here and just clear down all the keys and now it is the spiked up state. Now my uh, initial cube I will just clear up all the uh, keys as well. And now I will add morpher modifier to this original cube. In morpher modifier you have channels you set uh, how your game object will evolve into those channels, how much it will evolve. For example, I am at the first channel, it's selected here, and I want my target object to be picked from the scene, which is our target named object, and here it is there. And when I uh, play with the value of how much the modification applied to my uh, main object, there it is. So now I will be animating the value of modification level, uh, but not the vertices. And I will just insert the previous, I will just create animation by pressing auto key. I will insert my first key and my spike up state, uh, I will be inserting it here. And setting the value to 100, it will be the same with this one here. And again, I will just uh, decrease that to zero, so it will be spiked down state again. And I will add my key and stop animation uh, recording. After that, I will be get rid of this one and exporting my current object with the animation on it. You know, you see, this is just animation. We did nothing with editable poly, we did not move any vertices by ourselves, but we had a target object. And Morpher modifier turned our original object into target object for us. I am going to export. I am going to export everything you see here. So the previous one named Spike Anim. I mean, let's call it 2 because I don't know. I won't call it Spike and 2. So I am leaving all the uh, settings here and I want to show you one more time animation settings because it is important to see what the tutorial's settings are when you are following the tutorial. And if you are following this, I hope this will help. Uh, in the animation, the, there is no extra options, there is no big animations, there are deformations and morphs, obviously. No curve filters, no point cache files, and also this one, but I don't think we are using it. And now my model exported, 
I will import the model into Unity by drag and drop, closing down the old one and we have the new one here and animation works. So now we have spike up and spike down animations and maybe we want those animations to have different uh, speed like spikes will uh, go up fast but go down more slower. Or vice versa, would go up slow but go down very fast. So I will just divide the animation into two and also you can see how it can be done. Uh, I will be dividing them into up and down states. So this is clips, you know, I'm at the animation tab, here clips, I'm adding one more. This one named up, this one named will be named down animation. Up animation will be starting at 0, uh, zero frame but ending into 20 frame. And down animation will be starting at the 21 uh, frame but end at 40 frame. And everything should be fine now. I am moving my... Okay, I first need to apply the settings. Apply the settings before doing. And now I added my object to scene but I have no... Mm, animator to animate this. To directly create an animation, I can just drop an animate animation clip, and here is my automatically created animator. Here, uh, I have first down animation added to animator, but the first animation should be up animation, so I will be setting it as the default state, so it will run first. And these will be go through each other. And I said I think I want up animation to be faster. Like let's give it five times faster. And down animation to be half the speed. And there's a ten times uh, difference between their speed. Okay, I will be testing it now. And also we can uh, check from the animator panel so okay you see it goes up very fast but goes down uh, very slow than how it goes up here is our spike animation and using editable police now you can create your animations and export them from 3ds max and import them into unity 3d and if you need, you can divide your animations into states with very simple uh, modifications. I hope this video has helped you. If there was a point that was not clear, please let me know. And if you want to see more kind of this, more tutorials, kind of this one, let me know in the comments. Mm, I think I will be creating a VR experience with the umbrella you have seen previously. I may be sharing them in this channel soon. Uh, if you are interested in this kind of tutorials, this kind of experiment, this kind of experiences, you can consider subscribing. I can suggest that. But it is up to you. It's your decision. And yeah, thank you for watching up to this point. I, I really hope that it helps you. See you in the next explorations. And if you want those explorations to be happen, Consider subscribing, liking, or commenting on this video. Okay, bye.